Take that ecosystem. Welcome to Ranger Review, the web series we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 8th episode of the show, Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 213th episode overall titled Bicycle Built for the Blues. This episode begins at the garage, where Tanya and crew are setting up a birthday party for Justin. Also, the monkeys are there for some reason. Justin walks around outside, kicking a can around like a cartoon dweeb. He knocks on the door and the others freak out because he's supposed to be at practice. Practice for what? Tommy answers, telling him he can't come in because of car exhaust, and Justin says that he's expecting a call from his dad, asking him if he's called yet, and Tommy says, nope, bye, shutting the door. Oh my god, I actually kind of like Tommy now. Justin explains that it's his birthday, but Tommy has already shut the door. He assumes that no one cares, but then he sees a bike, and he just decides, this is his now, apparently. A monster is watching, singing happy birthday to herself, and then she burps. There's a giant card on the bike for Justin and it's a poem saying that his bike is his essentially and Justin assumes it's from his dad. Give it up kid. The periscope is watching this and Diotok says that this is her plan and they mention a monster named Big Burpa. Fuck this. Diotok says that when the bike starts going the odometer goes backwards until it blows up. Thank god. Goodbye Justin. The monkeys are frustrating the ranger teens and they mention how Stone is out getting food. They also talk about how hard it is for Justin to be away from his dad on his birthday. Yeah, question, where the hell does this kid live? Justin knows that the bike has 25 miles on it already and he assumes that it's just a used bike, but he doesn't care. He starts to ride it, running into Big Burpa, who keeps burping. I hate her. She casts a spell on Justin's bike, making his go. She follows burping. Stone shows up with food and he realizes that he left the rest of the balloons at the juice bar, so he's gonna have to go back. Adam asks for help from the other rangers to get stuff from a car. Meanwhile, Justin's going through a construction zone, screaming about how he can't stop on the bike and a construction worker gets hit with cement by Big Burpa. So dangerous. Alpha sees what's going on and he attempts to contact Justin, but Justin is just hitting garbage cans and Justin screams about how he can't stop the bike and he can't remove his hands to morph. Alpha says he'll call him back up. The other rangers say goodbye to Stone and their communicators go off. They get told to come to the power chamber, so they actually just teleport out. Also, Bulk and Skull put on music and start dancing, hitting all the food off the table. At the power chamber, they get updated on Big Burpa and Justin, and they see the monster attacking Japanese people. Tommy says he's going to handle this, and Tanya points out the obvious that there's probably a bomb involved in here somewhere, so be careful. Shift in the turbo. Tommy takes on Big Burpa, following her in his cart, but she goes toward a narrow path, and he can't follow her anymore. Alpha now takes the time to introduce Big Burpa to the rangers, referring to them as a he. That's a girl. They have no update on Justin, who's going to have calves of steel at the end of this day. They decide to help Tommy because screw that 12-year-old. Shift in the turbo. They chase after Big Burpa in their carts when it might just actually be better to just run at this point. And she goes through an alleyway, so Kat and Tanya pursue on foot while Adam goes via cart, and Big Burpa is just burping this entire time. It's actually making me want to vomit. She gets away anyways, and the rangers are like, well, okay, I guess we'll go get Justin. Speaking of him, Justin is now riding his bike through the park, and he just now realizes that this is a bomb. Adam, Kat, and Tanya show up, and they tell him to just get off the bike. Bitch, if he could do that. They tell Tommy that the bike is the bomb, and then Justin tries to dump the bike in the lake, but the bike magically floats on water. Why? Divotox sees this, and she says that Justin is about to celebrate his birthday in pieces across the country. <laughs> Holy shit, Divotox, chill out. Kat and them keep telling Justin to just jump off the bike onto the grass, and Justin can't do that still because duh. Tommy shows up in suit, and he calls out his Zord, which just lands next to him in a person-sized form, which we haven't seen since the movie. Got to use that prop somehow, I guess. Tommy rides alongside Justin, getting out of the car and standing on the hood. He tries shooting the tires out, but it doesn't work. Would have loved if that was just how Justin lost a toe. Tommy just tackles Justin off the bike somehow, despite being impossible to get off of before, and the bike keeps going, blowing up in the park. Justin is okay, but then Big Burpa shows up, so I'm not okay anymore. The others get together, and they shift into turbo. Kat and Tanya punch the monster before Tommy and Adam and then Justin. Then we get a cool fight in the forest with Justin and Big Burpa, who now has a sword. Justin then does this dumb flipping kick stuff, but he's actually taking on the monster solo, so honestly, the footage alone is cool looking. Justin beats her, and Divotox says to fire the torpedoes, because what else is she gonna do? Big Burpa grows giant, and the rangers call out their Turbo Zords, forming the Turbo Megazord. The Megazord then just does the exact same flipping attack kick that Justin did earlier, which looks even worse somehow. They call out the Turbo Megazord Saber, and it's R.I.P. Big Burpa. Thank God, this was legitimately making me nauseous. At the garage, Stone shows up with the balloons he went to go get, and he finds a place wrecked by the monkeys. Bulk and Skull ate a lot of food, apparently. The rangers show up at the garage, and Tommy tells Justin to go inside. And he does, and it's a surprise party for Justin, with Lily no one his age. He's shot that they remembered and knew, and Justin assumes that they just didn't care. Stone then calls Justin over, saying that the monkeys have a gift for him, and it's a banana. 
Justin then seems disappointed and Tanya asks what's wrong and Justin explains that he wishes that his dad could have been there. Tanya says maybe next year, which is kind of a dickish thing to say. Then Adam and Kat say that there's another gift that they forgot and Justin's dad comes downstairs hugging him. Then the rangers get spooked by a monkey burping. Also, Deotox is watching everything at the party on the periscope and Elgar is wearing Rygog's armor, doing imitations because Elgar's amazing. Rygog is there screaming about how she needs to make her nephew stop. These villains are so much better than the rangers. The other villains explain that it's because she doesn't let them celebrate their own birthdays, which is why she doesn't understand them at all. And Elgar explains that at least she has him as family. We then see Justin again telling his dad what a great birthday he's having. The end. This episode should be like horribly bad objectively. The monster is gross and weird. Justin's character is terrible and makes no sense. The rangers are still acting like stand-in parents for a practical orphan. Yada yada yada. But for some reason, I love this episode because it's one of those few episodes I talked about before that I had saved on a VHS from recording it when it first aired. So I've seen it a lot of times and I love the fight between Justin and Big Verba. I think it was choreographed so well and honestly, it shows what I love about Turbo, which is that the villains are actually real characters. The Rangers, eh, not so much. Also, fun fact, I definitely stole the poem in Justin's birthday card on the bike for a poem writing contest in like third grade, so there's that. So how will next time go? Guess what? It's gonna be about Justin again. But until then, may the power protect you.